Howdy friends, just want a quick talk about divided, dividing. Now, one good example of divide I can think of is to do a cake. Now, in the instance of cake, to divide can mean to share. So, one cake divided between two people is mathematical. A lot of people, when they're doing maths, will say 1 divided by 2 equals half. And a lot of people will say 1 shared by 2 equals half. So that's half each. That's nice. That's a good example. However, I can think of more than one bad example of divide. And I'll begin with probably the obvious one and that is black and white to do with skin colour you know people aren't black and people aren't white we are all varying shades of brown and it's dependent on the amount of melanin in a person's body that determines the depth of brown so BLM used to be known as black lives matter should really mean brown lives matter which uh, literally equates to all lives matter and while we're on the topic of skin color the native of what is now the United States of America or America I'm not really sure which they like to use as I was growing up watching westerns cowboy films the natives used to be called Indians and they used to be called red Indians well, are they red? Maybe it's to do with the bloodshed that they endured. And Chinaman used to be known as Yellow Man. Were they yellow? Are they yellow? I don't think so. Uh, so, it's not really a divide. That's just something that I thought I'd throw in there as soon as we're talking about skin shade but black and white divided to fight and black and white is synonymous with the old Freemasons and the old game of chess so pawns we are unless you say no so another divide we have red and blue, or the left and right in politics. And even that is divided even more, even greater. We've got the Greens, we've got the Liberals, we've got the Democrats, we've got the Liberal Democrats, we've got Nationalists, we've got Independent Representatives, and so on. So, that's a lot of divides. divides. For example, sport, football. We've got Manchester United or Manchester City. Pick a team. It will divide a city. We've got Bristol City or Bristol Rovers. Now again, that will divide a city. Liverpool or Everton. Atletico Madrid or Real Madrid. All designed to divide a city. To divide the people. So another divide we've got, we've got contrails or chemtrails we've got big pharma or herbal remedies we've now got the medicated or the unmedicated the masked or the unmasked we've got your body your choice or your body government choice pro-life or pro-abortion aka murder we've got flat earth or globe earth straight or bent war or peace and i haven't even mentioned religion yet we've got christianity we've got muslims islam we've got new age there's middle age old age there's buddhism hinduism ism 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 there's a list and it's long so if we just look at christianity even that is divided 
We've got the Church of England. We've got the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, formerly the Mormons. They haven't got a good reputation. There's evangelists, Seventh-day Adventists, Protestants, Presbyterian, Anglican, Catholics, Jehovah's Witnesses. Again, the list goes on. Just divide, divide, divide. And surely if any organised Christian religion is correct, it will only be one of them. And then we've got the different translations of the Holy Bible. More division. So, with all the manufactured divides that are forced upon us, one way or another, um, I think eventually we'd be hard pressed to find two people that don't have at least one kind of divide between them. And as the actual chess players will say, job done. Pretty much every man, woman and child is separated by at least one division. Now to conquer the weakened collective. Yeah.